So since we don't have our graphing calculators that we were used to at school, I wanted to show you a couple different ways that you can either use apps on your phone or um, websites. So I'm going to show you both. This video is for apps on your phone. We've already talked about Desmos a lot, so I think in class some of you have already downloaded that Desmos app. So if you need to graph something, Desmos is super good. Um, you can also type in just normal like 4.8 plus 6 sevenths and it will give you your answer there. Um, but if you are looking for something that is closer to the graphing calculator like we have in class, I found these two free apps. One's called Calculator X84, the other one's called Calculator 84. So this is what they look like. Um, so this one, as you can see it just turns your phone into a graphing calculator. And the nice part is all the buttons are in the same spot that, um, that we're used to on the calculators from class. So like. Um, I could do 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.06 over 4 raised to the 4 times 10. So for your exponential equations that we're doing, you can type all that in, hit enter, it gives us our value. So this one's pretty good. Um, it's going to have those same functions like if I do, f oops, ah, <laughs> not that. Okay, be careful with the ads. Um, do, if I did five um, eighths, hit enter, it gives me the decimal. I can go to math. Fraction is that first one, just like how we did it in class. So we can hit fraction, enter, and it gives it to me as five eighths. So this one's kind of cool, um, and it's very similar to our graphing calculator. So then the other one is calculator 84. I'm just gonna hit, you can sign in with these. I'm not gonna sign in, I'm just gonna skip. And you can see it also turns um, turns my phone into a graphing calculator. So, and it's even a little bit closer aligned. You can see all these different things. Um, so again, you have that math button, it has our menu. Um, you can go to graph, you can go to your Y equals. So it's gonna look very similar to what we use the TI-84 in class. So. Those are some apps that might help you as you're going through some of your assignments. So just wanted to share.